This is Edward. He's my best friend. Hello everyone! My name is Vivian and this is Edward. He's a good boy and I love him. So I decided to kind of start a YouTube because I wanted to talk about all my animals. As a lot of you guys know, PetTube is already a big thing that's blown up. And I just decided that, you know what? I think my children deserve a platform too. Okay. So this is Edward. He is a giant Madagascar hissing cockroach. And currently he's a little bit upset, so I'm gonna go put him away. So since this is my first video, I really do not know how to act in front of a camera. In fact, I feel immensely awkward and I kind of want to punch myself in the face. But besides that, um, you can probably still hear his hissing. I'm not sure if you can, but he's, he's hissing. Yeah. Okay, so as the name says, they are giant Madagascar hissing cockroaches. So essentially what happens is that when they are defending themselves or many times when males are um, fighting with other males, um, they will actually um, push air out of their abdomen and that's what creates the hissing sound. So they kind of sound like cats. The hissing sound is actually quite loud. It's quite comparable to an average house cat's hissing noise, but it's harmless. I mean, they really can't bite you. They can't hurt you. I mean, physically, I guess, emotionally, they can be scarred. But besides that, they're actually really nice pets because they're really low maintenance. And also they look really cool because why not? <laughs> so I'm going to show you a few things about their enclosure. Um, currently mine live in a 3.5 gallon enclosure and that is not very big and it doesn't have to be big because essentially although they do grow quite big in size, they're not exactly incredibly active. They're not going to be running back and forth like a hamster or a rat, but instead they're going to stay um, mostly one place and they will look around for food. And also many of them live in a colony and typically they're used as feeders. It's not uh, necessary for them to have a giant cage always. So this is where I keep my giant Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Like I said, it is a 3.5 gallon enclosure that I can actually get at PetSmart and it holds about two inches of substrate. So this is what it looks like inside and most of the decorations are actually meant for aquariums. And if I lift this up underneath, you can see my sleeping children. I love them so much. I also have a bunch of cork rounds and different pieces of wood that they can climb so on. I'm sorry about the camera angle keep on changing. Um, I actually don't have a tripod yet. So I'm holding my phone onto a empty box of tissues for now. <laughs> and so talking about their diet, they are essentially are opportunistic scavengers, which means that they'll pretty much eat anything you can find. In the wild, it can be decaying meat, decaying fruits, decaying vegetation. They also can break down stuff like leaf litter. And yeah, they will pretty much eat everything um, they can find. And so what I feed them typically is that I will give them any vegetable scraps because I also have rabbits and rats and um, other lizards. And so that means that I end up with a bunch of vegetables and I'll toss it in there and they will eat it. Their favorites typically include carrots and they also like fruits. They love bananas and they love apples. I know it seems kind of weird to say that um, cockroaches have preferences, but you can kind of tell in their behavior which one they like more, which is kind of weird because I'm all alone in my room talking about cockroach behavior anyways another thing is uh, hydration so essentially they will get the majority of their water from their food um, especially because you're feeding them fresh vegetables but water bowls aren't exactly necessary and sometimes you're not recommended because they're kind of stupid they will drown <laughs> just like me. So essentially what you can do instead obviously is to offer them vegetables and to spray down their tank multiple times a day. It's kind of ironic because the thing I use to spray down their tank is a pesticide spray bottle holder thing and I use that to spray down their tank usually one to two times a day and they will lick off any excess water. And so speaking of humidity, they are from Madagascar and they are from extremely humid climate so you do want to make sure that you're offering them the correct humidity levels. Typically, the range is going to be 70% and up uh, with humidity. And that's mostly achieved by spraying them one to two times a day. So again, this is not exactly a care video. I'm just kind of talking about my cockroaches because I wanted to film in my room. And I thought, what animal am I going to bring up here? And my bunnies are shedding. 
and so I was like, cockroaches it is because I'm actually allergic to animal fur. Another thing with cockroaches, some people actually do have allergies um, to cockroaches. It's not necessarily to the cockroach itself, but it's to the fact things that um, come with the cockroach, such as mites or mold or mildew, anything like that. I personally do test positive when it comes to allergies related to cockroaches. However, I have had zero allergies with them. I'm not necessarily sure if it's just the fact that I don't handle them super often or because they are Madagascar hissing cockroaches and not your run-of-the-mill gross cockroach. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm okay, but that's just a quick heads up in case you do want them as a pet. Of course, with any pets, you need to be sure you're doing thorough research before you bring them home. Because essentially, many times animals are brought home and people have no knowledge of how their proper care is. Many times in pet stores, you will get the improper information. And although Madagascar hissing cockroaches are incredibly hardy, and um, pet stores many times don't actually offer advice on them because they're usually seen as feeders. It's still important that you do your research, especially when it comes to more advanced animals in the future. But even cockroaches deserve love and respect. <laughs> if you're essentially what I'm saying is if you're not doing your research, I will send my cockroach army after you. You will not be fine. Okay, so the last thing I kind of want to end on was the fact that there's a lot of stigma when it comes to exotic animals. And it, you know, I think it's kind of shitty when people say things like, your pet is gross, or I would kill your pet if it ever came near me, or why would you want that in your house? I mean, if I said that about your dog, I'm pretty sure that would be kind of offensive. And honestly, it doesn't bother me that much, but I just wanted to say the fact that it's not always appropriate to make those comments about other people's animals, especially when those animals are taken care of in captivity. If someone has a pet tiger, you know, that's a little fucked up, but hey, mine are cockroaches and they live a happy life and they're not bothering you. I'm not gonna put them in your ears while you sleep. So leave me alone. <laughs> um, but yeah, they do not bite people and they, honestly, they couldn't even bite you if they tried. Uh, the most they're gonna do is they're gonna have small bursts of speed, they might run around a bit, and they might hiss. But that's really all the damage they can do. And if they do escape in your house, no, they will not overpopulate. They simply cannot um, breed without the correct um, conditions, such as temperature and humidity. And unless your house is like 85 degrees and constantly raining indoors, you're probably gonna be okay. <laughs> and so, Again, first video, I'm not really sure what much to say, but in the future, I do want to do a full uh, care guide on these guys. Um, a couple of YouTubers out there have already done um, a few care guides. And so, again, definitely do your research. Um, you want to read up on resources. And uh, this, again, I want to stress, is not a complete care guide. It should really just be introduction to how wonderful these animals are. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'm just, I'm editing right now and I'm realizing that my hair was a complete mess but I'm too lazy to refilm. This is what I actually look like. I'm not always a hot mess. I'm a semi hot mess, you know? And um, so yeah, it is my first video and I really do hope to post more in the future. I won't have a schedule. This is nothing formal. I just simply want to show off my beautiful animals to the world. So thank you for watching and bye. Pets, you need to be doing your research. If you don't do your research, I am going to slow. As with any pets, you need to do your research because if you don't do your research, I will come to your house and I will slap you. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so bad.